thermometer in here overnight to see what the temperature was, and it's it's showing 19 degrees now. And it's about half past nine in the morning. Um, but when I first came down here, before the heating came on, about seven, it was showing 16 degrees. So this probably a, it probably takes a lot longer to cure overnight than it does during the day. And so because this the floor panels had quite a few hours yesterday before uh, this one went down, um, I think that's going to be quite ahead in terms of curing. So the only way to be sure is to look at the pots. And um, so this is the first pot. So this came from, um, this was left over from that particular one. And yeah, that, that feels pretty, pretty solid. It's brittle. It's brittle now, and I could, it's a tiny bit, tiny bit of uh, give if I push my nail into it. But if I, you can hear that. Yeah, that's really brittle. So that's the first one. So that's pretty much hardened now, I would say now. This is the second one. Not again. This, it, it's not quite, I don't think, as solid. So let's grab a piece out and have a look at that. Yeah, that is it's still a little bit rubbery yeah it's still rubbery so that's probably like three hours maybe two and a half three hours less time this is had at daytime yeah it's very rubbery also it could be it's a different mix so they could have been slightly less hardener in that one i'm not sure so uh, i want to leave that one i'm not going to touch that one this morning uh, and then this one is from the bulkheads Yeah, that one also feels pretty. No, that's quite rubbery as well. So those still need a bit of time to finish curing. So I'm going to leave the bulkhead doublers and the sides as they are. I don't want to touch them at all. Because my experience shows that uh, that's not a good idea. Um, but I'm going to put these over here out of the way. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to take this up. Slabs off, get those outside. So now for the moment of truth. This is day I think eight, but you can discount two of those days because those were building the the cradles and the supports, saw horses. So let's say seven days so far before today, five of which have been preparing um, these whole and other panels so if this has gone wrong that's another five days worth to get back to this stage so uh, hopefully this is going to be okay yeah that's, that's pretty hard that's good and obviously I nailed this down so it wouldn't move. So I'm going to need to find a set of pliers. So these are just small little... Small little nails just to hold this in place, stop it from moving. While... Obviously I've been coming in and out here. I've actually kicked this one or two times by accident. Just nudged it, you know, not a big kick, and uh, this will just prevent it from being knocked slightly out of alignment, which is which wouldn't have been great. Oh, a sip of tea. Oh yeah, tea makes the world go round. Right. Oh, wow, 
yeah, that is really good. Yeah. Very happy with that. Look at that, that is, that is really good. That is just so smooth, you can hardly tell. There's, there's not, on this piece anyway, so far, there's some wrinkles, obviously, and that needs sanding down, but there's, there's hardly, you know, there, I kind of, I, can, I can't actually feel the ridge at all. A tiny bit there, but that just looks like a bit of glass that's squeezed up into the plastic. So there's quite a few ridges from the plastic, but the, this bit there is very smooth. And on this side, well, the glass is covering the ridge just like hiding any, but that just needs sanding down thing. I'm here, yeah, very chuffed with that, that's really good. So we have our first full length boat panel. That should be approximately 10 feet long from two pieces of uh, quarter inch ply, one six feet and one four. Well, plus the 75 mil for the scarf, three inches for the scarf. That's looking nice, that's looking good. See if that second piece is as good as the first. Second piece. Looks pretty smooth. Not, probably not less than a mil of anything. You can see some of these, that point there is just spot on flat. And just the tiniest bit of raised area uh, on oh, a tiny little bit of um, epoxy missing from that, that edge there and it's a tiny bit of filling needed and perhaps a tiny pocket here or there underneath yeah I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to fill this I'm gonna have to fill this one as I go and then sand it so tiny bit of filling some sanding the edge needs shaping, so that is actually going to be the, uh, today's job, is get the sawhorses back in here and trim these to the right shape. So, currently, currently there's still a flat side, so obviously this part is curved, but in order to do the, uh, the scarfing you have to keep two flat edges, so with the two flat edges that's how I got the alignment correct. So there's some trimming to do forward. As the bow goes forward, it actually raises up slightly. So probably seven, eight, eight mils, I think it is. It comes up eight mils. And then the same at the back here as well, it comes up eight mils. So I'm gonna have to trim pretty much from, from there, I think. I, yeah, I made a little, there's a little hole. So from there to here, that all that piece needs trimming back. So I'm just gonna use the jigsaw for that, I think. And then the surfboard, and then same at the front, the jigsaw and then the surfboard. And then I'm going to put the two panels together and make sure they're exactly symmetrical. Maybe get the sander out, the new sander, try sanding this down. And then maybe mix up some epoxy, yeah, and fill that at the same time as I'm joining up the nose. Which will be probably sometime later this afternoon. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it's 12 o'clock and the temperature is 19 degrees. So since about half nine this morning, nine o'clock, it's been three hours or so of quite warm 
curing time for the side panels and in fact when i look at the the leftover in the pot from the side panels it's it's quite brittle so they were and that's a pretty thick piece so that's pretty much cured and so i'm going to take off the weight and have a look and see what kind of scarf we've got so look at this we start with the the port side first it just feels like one large piece of plywood which is really good so that is actually very very nicely smooth that, that you can hardly tell even even with this some small ridges of um epoxy here or glue from where it's just squeezed out and caused little indentations because of the plastic hasn't been perfectly flat um, but that will sand off so yeah that's quite a good it's quite a good one yeah pleased with that yeah very nice very nice join very very with that you could hardly you can't tell it at all it just feels like a tiny bit of glue on yeah those um Those floorboards, those loft insulate, those loft boards. What are they called? Loft boards? Yeah, what a really good idea. That could do a really smooth flat surface. And then with the weight of the flagstones on top, that's just pushed it down. That is very nicely in, in true. And what about what about that uh, straight edge? Yeah, I mean, that is pretty straight. Mm, okay, so next step will be trimming. trimming, trimming these sections, so I'm going to clear up this mess and get the saw horses in here and I can start doing some trimming.